Um, lots of comment here or question coming up on YouTube. How is the MDT PowerShell project coming along? Uh, what was it called again? It's called PSD and it's been doing quite well. We made some changes uh, last week that we haven't yet published, but uh, it looks kind of nice these days. Uh, I'm a bit biased, but if you go to github.com and go to Friends of MDT, uh, this is where you have that. And it's an extension uh, of MDT. It's a PowerShell extension to MDT. So we took the MDT scripts so what you normally will find in the deployment share here with a bunch of regular scripts, if you go to one that has been extended, it looks, uh, well, very much uh, differently because it's just a bunch of PowerShell scripts instead. Uh, we recently made some changes to our wizard. Um, I actually have time to show that just because it's fun. Uh, so if I go to a clean ISO there, and power on this device, we should be able to see those changes. Give this some time to boot and see if that server decides to reply. So this is the initial background screen. It typically changes a little bit later uh, in the process, uh, depending on settings. So give this some time to connect. Yeah, so this is the wizard in PSD. You can see it kind of looks and feels like the MDT wizard, but this one is written completely in PowerShell. So no executables, just PowerShell. So you pick your sequence, you pick your disk drive that you want to use. This is something we added that MDT doesn't have by default, but we wanted to have it specified, especially if you have devices with multiple hard drives. Uh, some information about the device. Uh, we added in a device role that you can pick from. Uh, we added in so you can select an Intune group uh, for autopilot assignments, uh, admin credentials, local time, any applications you might want to have, and then a summary. And then from that on, it's just a regular uh, task sequence. So start the deployment, then it will you know, run the task sequence. So these were some of the changes that will be published shortly into the GitHub repository. But uh, all in all, uh, it works uh, beautiful for bare metal deployment. Um, we did a session about this at MMS, me and Andrew Johnson and Michael Nystrom. Uh, Michael Nystrom's company, who is a security company that does deals with uh, a lot of security incidents. He mentioned that they had deployed a good over 100,000 devices uh, using PSD for different customers over the last few years here. So it's a quite well-tested platform. And since MDT is, well, it's not supported for Windows 11, even though it happens to work, this could very well be something to, to look into also down the road.